When I was doing the video, Bracing for Effect, I started to braise two pieces of metal together, just like I'm doing here. I reached over and picked up a new brazing rod, and immediately I knew something was wrong. I had got hold of a bad rod. The first time this happened to me, I thought I was doing something wrong. So let me show you how you can determine whether you have a bad brazing rod. A couple of telltale signs. First, if you'll notice, I'm getting a little bit of a green flame. And generally, the green flame when brazing indicates that the base metal, the metal to be brazed, is too hot. But that's not the case here. Also, there is some of that sputtering sound. Again, generally the sputtering sound is when the base metal is too hot. But again, that is not the case here. Something in the makeup of the rod is not quite right. What I do when I run into this situation, actually, what I do when I run into almost any problem with brazing, is to add just a touch more of acetylene to the flame, generating a carbonizing flame. The carbonizing flame will help to smooth the brazing out. But as you can see here, it's just not doing it. This should be melting just like butter. Here's a close-up shot of the final braise. You can see how pitted it is. And it's also humped up. Now I wasn't going for effect here. I was trying to get this on as smooth as possible. Now I wouldn't throw the rod away. For a utility braise where you want to braise two pieces together, it'll work. But for a finished piece of sculpture, where the braised joint is an integral part of the sculpture, this just won't do. If you're not familiar with the carbonizing flame, here is a quick look. Now, there's already a video on the carbonizing flame, but this will give you a quick idea on how to set the flame. Here, setting the neutral flame. And once you have the neutral flame, turning the acetylene knob just slightly, and adding a bit more acetylene to the flame. You can see a slight feather coming out from the neutral flame. There we go, right there. That is the carbonizing flame. You don't want to give it too much, just a little. Oftentimes, when you're having trouble brazing, the carbonizing flame can be a big help. Now this is 10 pounds of brazing rod. This is the most standard of the brazing rods that I know of. And you can buy this 332nd flux covered brazing rod at almost any welding supply. And for brazing, this is the least expensive rod that I'm familiar with. Now there are exotic brazing rods out there. But I prefer to use materials, especially materials for the videos, that are easy to come by. Now, I've gone through hundreds of pounds of this standard brazing rod. And yes, once in a while I'll find a bad rod, but it doesn't happen that often. The main point of this video is that if you get a bad rod, probably the rod, and not you.